yeah, yeah, maybe in an ideological world you can say that the whole country and the whole world wants to ban Trident, but yes, you're right, no... Uh, in no situation would you ever want that to happen exactly. and I believe that's the reason why we need to keep right, it right. because right, other right. countries who may or may not have nuclear weapons because I bet we don't know every single country that does and other countries that do have them don't press them because they know that we could if we ever okay. needed to but right. we wouldn't want well, to and right. if we, we are no, 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 the right. treaty the nuclear non-proliferation yeah. treaty mm -hmm. right. uh, not living up to our obligations to move but towards the disarmament we're, go, we're going to move on all right thank you we're going to move on to another question now because we've taken a quarter of an hour on that and we've only got an hour <coughs> tonight as ever um just before i do we're going to be in croydon next week and bolton the week after the address to apply to if you'd like to come to croydon or Bolton is there. Uh, let's have this question coming from, is it Minos Perdios? That's right. I hope that's the right pronunciation. Said it very sir. well, David. Thank you very much. <laughs> I didn't practice it, I just uh, saw it here. Right, go on, far away. Opinion polls show that no party will win an overall majority would, and that we'll have another coalition. Would a Labour SNP coalition be a betrayal to the millions of English voters? Mm. All right. And Anna Subi, you start on that. Well, here's a surprise. I agree with you. It would be a betrayal, but not just to the English. It would, I think it would be a betrayal to the whole of the United Kingdom. It would be an appalling thing to have such a shabby and shoddy deal. Uh, and the Why would it be shabby and shoddy well, to have a coalition? We've got between, one now. Between we, you've got the, one. No, no, between the Labour, between Labour and the SNP was the gentleman. Yes, I know. I don't have a problem I heard the with, question too. Uh, in right, well, I'm, I'm talking about Labour and the SNP. It would be extremely shoddy. I'll tell you why. Um, as you've asked, and I will continue. <laughs> if you look at, if you just take the example we've just been talking about in Trident, Alex Salmon has made it absolutely clear that it's a complete red line for the SNP. Uh, the SNP will not go into a coalition with Labour unless they too commit to the, the non-renewal of Trident. So the question for the Labour Party is, are you actually going to put that at risk, no. at peril. You're no. not. No. Well, then you won't be able to go into no. coalition with the SNP. No. I thought to say she said the opposite absolutely today. clear. Who? Oh. I thought Nicola Sturgeon said well. that um, they would be deal by deal, even if Trident is... Um, well, look, not... Lucy Bell. I mean, look... Uh, uh, You're meant to know this stuff, sorry. <laughs> no, no, just... no, yeah. I mean, an S a Labour-SNP coalition is uh, not at all uh, being discussed, it's not planned, we don't want it, we don't need it, you know, we couldn't be uh, clearer than that. We are working for a Labour majority uh, in this election, and that's what we're working uh, yeah, now. That goes without saying, that, that's, yeah, no, that's no, not no, no, question. No, I think it's an important point. Yeah, um, no, everybody says okay, that. Opinion the, polls show you saying the, that you won't get okay, it. OK, but the, the Tory party, I mean, this is the, the, the whole hype about this this week and this uh, awful poster that the Tories have, have put around, this is a smoke... A which poster screen. is this that's so awful? This, this terrible one with Ed Miliband in Alex Salmon's pocket, which no-one yeah. understands Quite what it's actually What's about. What's wrong with that? Uh, well, it's a, terrible, it's a terrible poster that actually no-one understands. Not any, anyone normal and not in the Westminster Quite world doesn't understand that I think that, they that do poster. get it. Well, and and it's what, a steal, what, what, anyway. Yeah. Well, what, um, <laughs> I think they know exactly no, what no, it is. No, no, no. And I think it's, it's, a, it's, it's a really it's important point. It's the kind of thing his lot would be up to, let's face it. Originally, it was David Owen was the big one was. and then Coiled David Steele Steel was in the pocket it was a yeah. spitting image sketch but yes. if I could and just the Tories yes. have knocked off the idea and done it very badly which yeah. is <laughs> essentially their policy and David Owen really. always said <laughs> David Steele David, David Owen always said it was the wrong way round and actually he should have been in Steele's pocket yes he was always a populist wasn't he he was <laughs> Go on, I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, but sorry, no, no, if I could just finish, well, finish yes, the point. This, this, has been, this has been launched this week by a desperate Tory party who, let's not forget, didn't themselves win a majority at the last election. In fact, they haven't won a parliamentary majority since 1992. It is a smokescreen from a desperate uh, Prime Minister who wants to make leadership uh, what this election is all about, yet he's absolutely, uh, you know, avoiding and backing out and won't take part in a good old-fashioned debate. Can you answer the question <laughs> we were asked <laughs> We've got by, the by, 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 by Mr Perdios? Mm -hmm. Would a Labour SNP coalition, quote his words, be a betrayal to the millions of well, English it's not even It's not even on the table. It's not so an it option. So it would be a betrayal, it's not, it? No, no, it's, it's, it's not, I mean, it's not 
going to happen. You can guarantee um, that the Labour Party, if you can't form a majority government and you're in a minority, you will not go into a coalition with the SNP. You can guarantee us that, can you? Well, they're not my decisions, but I can absolutely tell you. No, no, I can, I can on, tell Lucy, you. You are it is, very it is... senior. You are very senior. We all yeah, know that. There is, there is, let let her answer. As far, course, as, as far as I am concerned, and as far as I know what is going on, there is absolutely no prospect of a Labour SNP coalition. Yeah. I don't think we could be... Uh, clearer than that but you know what you've got to ask yourself here in this election first of all if you're a if you're a Scottish voter and you want to get rid of David Cameron from Downing Street which many Scottish voters do then for every less Labour MPs that there are elected from Scotland that's more and more likely and you've also got to ask yourself the question about David Cameron who's look who looks like he's going to get obliterated in Scotland uh, you know could he be a Prime Minister who has no representation in Scotland he's going to virtually get wiped out in London have no representation in the capital uh, city so you know here is a Prime Minister and by the way the only party round this table who's ever done a deal with the SNP to prop them up in government are the Tory party in, in, in uh, uh, the Scottish Scotland. Parliament in, in t 2007 to, to 2011. That's a surprise. All right. so, Mr Pedios, what do you make of the answers you've heard so far? Um, look, I mean, I'm not, I'm not convinced because I think in Scotland Labour are in trouble yeah, and uh, they're going to have to rely on uh, the SNP votes if they are going to form the government. And we've got finite resources. And if it's a, um, the SNP are going to demand a lot of things, and if things are transferred away from London and you know and English regions just to buy the votes of the SNP and for Labour to get into power, it will be a betrayal. And I don't think the voters will forgive Labour. Charles Kennedy. Uh, <laughs> do you know, folks? I don't know where to begin. I'm speaking <laughs> as a Scot. Um, <laughs> the uh, and I've heard an awful lot of claptrap in the last few minutes. Uh, it has to be said. The question was, would the Labour Party go into... Well, what were the words exactly? No, uh, would, would a Labour-SNP coalition be a betrayal to millions oh, right. of English voters? English voters. Right. Uh, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. In a million years, it's mm -hmm. not going to happen. Thank, thank uh, you, Charles. Both <laughs> for Labour's interests and for the interests of the Scottish National Party. The two of them are not going to get together. Absolutely. They hate each other. They hate each other. Well, so the Tories and the Liberals <laughs> don't. <laughs> they don't. I don't. Know. They don't. Yeah. I don't. I don't hate Charles Kennedy. Ian, the but you've worked together Charles despite Kennedy. hating each other. We don't this is hate coalition. Each Ian, other. Ian, it's what we you, want. Ian, you've known me a very long time. Yes. Yes. That's and, a terrible uh, admission. We you've not, you've, <laughs> you've not learned anything in the process. But the, uh, <laughs> coming back to the point. No, I do not think that there will be a Labour SNP coalition government. I think possibly the most likely outcome of this very unpredictable general election is quite simply that no party will have an overall majority and you may well have a minority government, mm -hmm. but not a coalition. But do, you, but do you envisage, you said there's no way they'll work together, can you see SNP and Labour not joining forces, not in a coalition, but to just keep government running? You say well, they hate each other. Well, I, I think a responsible outlook in terms of how do you manage the, the governance of the country, of course uh, I think that will be the case. But I do not think that there will be, uh, how should we put it, I do not think there will be SNP government ministers no. right. in okay. our coalition. Can, can I say okay. something? Yes. I'm mean, just something unpopular. I mean, they are entitled to vote SNP. Yeah. Um, they are allowed to return those people as their representatives. Mm -hmm. And if they do, then it's up to the SNP to take on responsibility for the whole of Scotland. They've got to represent the people who didn't vote for them in the referendum as well. So there's got to be responsibility on both sides. If we're going to end up in a coalition, which I think we will, the point of coalitions is both sets of people have to work together for the good of the union, which apparently Sorry, you know, Ian, Scotland what, voted for uh, Ian, uh, in a majority. What, what, so you can't just say this is a terrible betrayal. What, it's what those people voted for. Ian, what, what coalition do you anticipate? 
Well, I'm with Baker. I think Labour Conservatives the winner. <laughs> <laughs> I think you could be sure that's not going to be the case. Are you, are you being serious? No, no. I mean, that... <laughs> Ken, Kenneth, but he was being serious. Man, man with the spectacles.